Hi everyone. Today we're going to create a list view in Android. And if you've been following my iOS tutorials, a list view is essentially the same as a table view that you find in iOS. It's just the Android way of doing it. So go ahead, open up Xamarin Studio or Visual Studio, click New Solution, and let's do an Android ice cream sandwich application. And we will call this one list view. Click OK. OK, once you've loaded it up, you'll notice it's quite different from iOS. We only have one main activity here and a whole bunch of folders. So the first thing we want to do is open up resources, go to our layout, and go to main AXML. And if you just look in mainactivity.cs first, you'll notice down here we have a set content view, resource layout main. <coughs> And that's just referring to this main.axml. So double click that and wait for it to load. So Xamarin has loaded up a helpful button for us, which is part of its tutorial, but we don't need that. So we're just going to remove that, delete it, and we're going to put our own list view in. So go over here to the side in your toolbox and type in list view. There it is and then just drag that over and drop it. And of course, there's nothing in it at the moment, so you can't really see it. So we're going to go over to our source at the bottom here. And this basically is just the XML that's behind your AXML file. And you'll notice we've had a list view dropped in here. And we don't need minimum width and height. So we're just going to remove those. And we want the list view to match the parent's width and the parent's height. So we're going to leave that as it is. And notice it has an ID, which is list view one. So save that. Now that we have our list view, we need some code to populate it. So go back to your main activity. And what we're going to do is get rid of this button, because if you look here, it's gone red, which means that Xamarin can't find a resource ID called my button because we deleted it in the main AXML. So let's get rid of all of that button code and comment and get rid of this integer too. There we go. Now the first thing we need to do is give the list view some information. So we need to assign an array to it. And we're going to give this array as a list of strings like that. And we're going to call it data. Actually, let's call it list data. There we go. And you'll notice list has gone red. And that's because we haven't included one of the namespaces, which is this system collections generic. So if you click that, it simply populates it in the top there for you. And now everything's fine. Okay, the first thing you're going to do when you've created your launcher, is you're going to assign a variable to list data. So we're going to say list data is equal to new list. There we go, new list string, like so. And this simply says, make sure this is actually an object, because if it isn't an object, you're going to get lots of horrible errors when you start your app. OK, now we need to fill that list with some data. And just before I do that, I'll go into the difference between lists and arrays. Now, a list is basically an array that you can add new values to. And every time you add a new value, it doesn't create a new list. It simply adds one to it. If you create an array and through whatever code you're able to add values to it, it needs to first recreate the array with the new value, then delete the old one. So it's very memory intensive. So if you have a list of data that you want to add to something or that you want to add to, then it's always best to have it as a list and not an array. OK, so let's add some stuff to our list data. So we're going to say list data dot add. And remember, it'll take strings. So we put these in quotes. And we're going to say Xamarin. And let's copy that and add a few more. iOS, Android. 
now that we have our data, we actually need to create a list view. So we're going to create it up here, list view, and we're going to call it data list view. And then we come down here and we're going to instantiate it. And we're going to say our list view is equal to the ID of the list view in our main AXML. So we're going to tell it how to find our list view in that main AXML. And we do that by typing find view by ID. And then we have to give it a type, which would be a list view. Close that and then open your brackets. And the way you do uh, any sort of finding of types is by typing resource dot id dot and then that will give you a list of types that you have available and if you'll notice we have a list view one which is in our main axml now if i go to main axml and i change this to let's put it as just list view without the one and i save that i come back here and i put dot it still has list view one and that's because xamarin needs to rebuild every time so it has all of those variables available to it but not to worry you can still do list view let's check it's the same yep and when it builds it will find it so save that so now we have our list view and we have our data which is this list data and we need a way to interface the two and the way you do that in android is by creating an array adapter. So you go array adapter and you give it a type which will be the same as our list view string and we will call this list adapter equals to new array adapter string and then open up. You notice there are seven methods we can choose from here but the one we're going to choose is the one that has three variables and it starts with passing over a context. So let's see if I can find that. There we go, that's the one. So first it says I want a context. And the context is this class. We're just going to say this. This. And we have to give it a resource ID. So we say for that Android dot resource dot layout dot and now you have a whole bunch of variables you can choose from here. And we want to come down to our simple list items. And if you want to know what each of these does, then just simply have a browse through the Android documentation. We're just going to have a simple list item one. Close your braces and save. Ah, uh, I forgot something. We need to add a third argument here, which is our text view. Oh, now we want to go. There we go to that one we need to add a string of objects because we've over here we've said this is an array adapter of strings so it expects an array of strings <coughs> to add to this method of array adapter and of course our array of strings is simply list data so we're going to pop that in list data okay we have one last thing to do and that is to add this adapter to our actual list view. So we want to say data list view dot adapter is equal to list adapter. There we go. And if you remember from the iOS tutorials, you actually needed to physically add these things to your view. But in Android, you don't because they're already there in your main XML. So we're just going to run that in our Xamarin Android player. Let me just... There we go. Fire one of those up. Oh, no, I need to update it. I'll just pause the video and come back in a bit. Okay, I've installed Xamarin Android player update. Now, of course, you could use the standard Android emulators that come with the SDK, but I'd advise if you can, use the Xamarin version because it's much, much faster. So I'm just going to unlock that. As you see, we have a standard sort of Android interface. Let's come back to our project 
and click play and this should fire up ah we have an error because list view is a namespace but a type was expected that's because I've put in a small L there and list view should be a large L so let's save that and click play and we should be good to go so switch over to our player and you'll notice it compiles over here and installs everything we need on the Android device. Whilst this is loading, you can also just plug in a USB cable and your own Android device and you have to enable debugging and it will let you use that. So here you can see we've loaded up our app and at the top here we have our title bar and our app is called List View which is why we have list view up top and we have three rows here and when I click them of course nothing happens but we have Xamarin, iOS and Android in exactly the same order as we specified them here. Now in the next tutorial I'm going to go a little bit further into the customization of these lists and how we can get our app to do something whenever we touch one of these cells. Thanks for listening, and as usual, if you have any questions, then please do ask.